Let's do this one. Ghoul activity. Alright, buddy. Guess we gotta go to this test site. Repcom. Nice shot. Oh, and I get the points? Nice. Or ghouls. Okay. Is a good shot. Enter the facility and discover the source of the ghouls. Ah, wow. done a good turn for the NCR and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call and we'll come run it. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Hey, where's Boone? Oh, jeez. I thought they killed him. <laughs> well, thanks for your, uh, your assistance, sir. Nice shot, Boone. Okay, so he said on the east side. Is that a trap? Bottle caps, drain cells, psycho, laser rifle. Nothing of importance here. About this one. Now, where is that guy? Uh, nothing in there. First aid. Dirty water. Stim pack. Okay. Ow. Ow, I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go, so. Just gonna get around here. Easy. Wow. What did the what did the quest say? Head upstairs to meet the owner of the voice from the intercom. Just head upstairs, okay. So you just should be somewhere up here? Is 
The merger. Stealth boys. The better. Okay. Experiments. Hmm. Okie dokie. Another one? Let's just get all the same stuff. You would think somebody would be around here somewhere. What does this one have? Ah, oh, same stuff. Okay, nothing new. Even upper? There's a terminal here. Nothing new. Gotta find this guy. Okay, he's on the hunt for something over here. You're mine. Nice, nice. Stealth boy. Better take those. Those seem good to have. Okay, so this is a slaughter area. Guess he's uh, even higher, huh? Just keep going up. There's beds. Nice. Admin terminal. Finish converting that old generator room into storage as you requested. If you need to get access to the safe, the password is Repcon. Hello, Stevie. Well, I can't say that I'm surprised. You were a devious worm when we started here all those years ago. I guess someone has to take the blame, and it may as well be your old friend. That waste spill never would have happened if you didn't push the team so hard. Or if you paid for actual competent personnel. Well, okie dokie then. That's not a door. I gotta get back up. Watch out, Boone! Up the stairs. There's a door up here. Ah. Smooth skin. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Hey, you're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Your skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. Jason, where art thou? Hello? No. Jason? Must be upstairs. That's probably what he said. Oh, here you are. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? I'm here because feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out, somehow. And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. Uh, what's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. 
a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. What is the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing. And I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. How will you make that journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. What's the deal with the guy that let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared. And the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. One of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside? Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away? It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Yes, I'll take care of the demons for you. Praise the Creator! Bless you, Wanderer! Bless us all! As soon as the Underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the Great Journey can resume. Get rid of the Nightkin in the basement. Nice place you guys got here. Hey there. Oh, hey, Chris. Just need to find the basement. Okay, so I gotta go. To the left after this door. Ah, yes, here we are. Dark in here. Sure is, boo. Keep you on target. Ah, that's... Got him. Hello? Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Jason sent me down here. And I bet he told you it's the Creator's will for you to risk your ass. Instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine looking goulettes in it. Uh, or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. How'd you end up down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, it 
turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. I'll try. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Boone, where'd you go? What was that, man? Did you kill him? God, did he really do that? God dang it. Okay, how do I get over there? Did he attack us? Huh. more like I say kill it antler for safe sake hmm okay antler I'll ask uh, hi human why you come here who is antler who is antler who is antler antler the human asks about you what do I tell it all right all right yes yes of course who antler is not important to you antler wants that you deal with me and who are you? Me? I am devoted to Antler. But before Antler? Hmm. Captain once. Last name Davison. First name... Don't remember. I commanded a troop of Nikon, the Master's elite. A great honor. Very proud. Something happened. We wandered the desert. Life without Master was... hard. The other's minds going strange, going crazy. But then, I found us new master. I found us Antler. Since then, everything's been going really well. I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. Antler guides me in all things, as I in turn guide my kin. You did it now! Antler's horn stabbing! Antler, mad! Ow. Whew. Almost bittered on that one, huh, Boone? Nothing in there. Ladder over there. I hear stuff going on in here. How's that? Oh. Space suit. That's kind of weird to see here. Entats. X. Stim pack. Hmm. Hello? Who's down there? 
deal with all the rockets down here. It's none of your business, Smooth Skin. Jason was very clear. Get rid of the demons, then report back. He didn't tell you to poke around down there. Got it? Got it, got it, okay. Stop wasting time. Check out this ladder here. Oh, that goes outside. Don't need to go there yet. I'm crippled again? God damn it. Uh, see what happens here. Oh, sorry, dude. Better get out of there. Okay, so we did that. Haven't gone. This is the way back. Let's go down. Hello? Close one. Jeez. Thanks for no help, Boone. Does this just wrap around the... over here? This way. Oh, flames. You're still good, Boone. Okay, how about this way? Oh, here's a door. Hello? Hello? Anybody? Kind of dark in here. Hello? Nobody in there. I know I'm crippled. Jeez. I know this. Nobody in here. Ah. Uh, hello. Well, that's that. If Boone didn't knock that guy out, probably still have that quest. Oh well. Okay, so all the demons are dead. That's right, it's this way up this little weird maze of stairs hey. oh hey Chris I don't I don't need you is the way clear the demons are gone praise the creator and bless you wanderer the way is clear I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site I hope you will come find us there wanderer there is much to be done. Okay. Gotta get down there. That map is terrible. I'm guessing I just gotta go down. Nope. That's the wrong way. Oh yeah, I think this is the right way to go anyways. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, 
but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Seriously? Rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. So you're gonna leave him behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Well, none of my biz. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Oh, yes. yeah, here's Chris. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. So the Great Journey will use those rockets? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. What do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. I don't think let you work on the launch pad. When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. I'll do the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Any tips? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Bye. Components to the east. Oh. Uh, so let's look at the map. Oh, okay. Just past Novak. That place, huh? Careful. They got spies all over. Okay, no bark. Hey, so nothing there. Oh, I hear gunfire. Eat this.
Oh, somebody died here? A scavenger. Ooh. I think it's, uh... Oh, yeah. Over this way. Right here. Have you found Chris. the components we discussed? An entire container of the igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Okay. Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Time to go. Later. Well, let's see where we're where we're headed. Up there. Let's hit up Novak. Now we don't need to go to the motel. Or do we? Hey boom. Gibson scrapyard. Oh, a dog. Hello? Motorcycle. Old lady Gibson, wake up. Hey! Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Do you have any thrust control modules from Repcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. 500 it is, here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, Boone, you know where we're headed. This way. How do they have just a huge ass rocket underground here? I don't get that. Maybe it's like in the mountain. Chris, have you found the components we discussed? I found the control modules. Indeed, you did, and they seem to be in excellent condition. So the rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Okay. Hey, other homes. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing, and we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey, hey. Hey. Okay then, I guess we gotta go up to the, uh, to the hideout, I guess. Okay, where's, uh, 
What's his face? Jason? Ah, here we are. There's the rocket. Oh, duh, the frickin' rocket's been there the whole damn time. All right. Jesus. You are idolized by the community. Well, that's just great. All right, Boone, let's get out of this joint. Our job here is done.